The Ridgeway School received its designation as Innovation Teaching School in 2014. As a school, we've always believed firmly in the need to have evidence-based practice. So for a long time, we have been using research or inquiry to pilot new strategies and new ideas in school to see if they were effective, if they truly had an impact on pupils' learning. Research and development is, is quite uh, strong in, in the Ridgeway um, and the Innovation Teaching School because uh, we, we've, we've been doing it for a number of years and I think that boils down to the ethos within the school because um, we, we've always wanted to try and find new ways of, um, of engaging our pupils. We started with uh, Professor Barry Carpenter um, learning how to do the engagement profile. We learned how to um, measure the engagement of our pupils because without engagement um, there's no deeper learning. Um, so we need to make sure that the children are engaged. So what we do first of all is we find um, an activity that the students particularly like um, be it gardening or cookery, um, PE, it's usually act, it's something active and that way um, they, will, they are moving about and so they are learning a lot more than if we're just presenting an activity to them, um, say for example on a worksheet. More and more teachers are influenced by research in the classroom and more and more there's actually a movement towards teachers being the researcher. And this makes perfect sense because we have the resource, we have the students in the school as opposed to universities doing research. And also the impact is for our students. So therefore it makes sense for teachers to be doing the research themselves. The problem we have in, in schools is that teachers are not used to doing research and we're not used to the techniques and the methodologies. So the benefit of working with innovation teaching school is that they have people that come in from outside to help us with those methodologies. That then comes back into our school, is spread across the school, and also this research is published. And so actually this becomes part of a, a big celebration at the end of the project and it's shared across our teaching school alliance. Now through that process, staff have developed themselves. They have started to see their potential maybe to look at management or leadership. Part of running research means that you are working with others. You are having to inspire, motivate, encourage, bring people together in teams. And all of that helps people to recognise their own potential and develops their own confidence and self-esteem moving forward. I work for the University of Chichester. I'm what's called a link tutor. Um, I work on the School Direct programme. I visit Ridgeway School to work with the trainee teachers who are based here. The first thing that I would, I would do, I'd, I'd come in and work um, with Daryl, Jane and Deborah to um, interview prospective candidates for the role. We're looking for just how well the trainees can teach, you know, have they got a good classroom presence, how, can, how well can they engage the students because they're, they're working with some very challenging children here and it's not easy to be able to engage and teach and uh, encourage the children to make progress. So um, we're really looking at the trainees building and developing their skills over the year. Would you want to do more mixing? Yes or no? I was originally attracted to the Ridgeway um, because of their approach to personalised learning. Um, for me, as a prospective teacher, I wanted to make sure that every student in my classroom was given the opportunity to grow as an individual and reach their full potential, whatever that may be. As a student, you work at the school five days a week. You're in classroom, you work alongside a mentor. For me, it's my class teacher and they train you to become a teacher. You start teaching and you gradually teach more and more and more. You have four weeks at the University of Chichester where you do the sort of theory-based stuff and then the rest of the time is kind of practical in the classroom, on the job kind of role. Um, you have one day in the week where you do your school training and we work alongside the I2I, I, which is at Waden School, which is a secondary school, and we work with a team of trainee teachers there on a Wednesday morning. In the interview, you got put in a class, obviously you only had like paperwork through, you didn't know any of the students, and that you would have to teach a, a 15 to 20 minute lesson. So you had to use all your confidence, all your experience that you've known to go into this class and teach these students that you only knew on paper, which is quite difficult. And then once you started your training as well, it 
was you get thrown in the deep end teaching within your first couple of weeks. Although it sounds scary, it's the best way of doing it. The training provided by the teachers here, the subject leaders, uh, leadership team, and outside speakers as well, really helped me um, grow my subject knowledge and um, my knowledge of you know, teaching in general, pedagogies, theories, the backing, the true foundations, I guess, to teaching. Teaching schools are not about saying we are the experts. It's about working with others, bringing them together to share expertise. So if people approach us for information and we don't feel we're the best people to offer it, we've developed links with a number of other schools across all sectors where we can ask them if they're able to go in and provide that kind of support and backup. As more and more students come into mainstream with more and more complex needs, we've got a realisation that we've got to expose our trainees to more of the techniques that you might use with those students. So the way we've worked is that trainees from the Ridgeway come across to us on a regular basis. They work with our trainees who tap into their experience and knowledge and also we're able to visit the Ridgeway School to actually see these techniques being used in practice. As part of Innovation Teaching Schools, Ridgeway Community School has offered us support um, at Kennel Lane School and that has included um, a range of things. So it's included supporting the development of our staff, so professional development. We had three teachers come for training um, at Ridgeway Community School where they moved from requiring improvement to good teaching. Um, we've also had our TAs come and visit Ridgeway Community School to share good practice and to to learn from the class practice in Ridgeway Community School and bring it back to our school. Students can expect to um, be really at the forefront of education um, as it's happening on the chalk face if you like. They are seeing experienced teachers, outstanding teachers, um, who can um, show them how to develop their practice and how to become outstanding teachers themselves, which is what we want. Out of the work that we did, when we looked at what a teaching school involves, we realised that we were already doing a great deal of it, even down to initial teacher training. For years, new teachers coming into special educational needs have come with a mainstream training background. So we've developed our own training for people so that they know how to come and work with our youngsters and how to effect progress for them. Through having the designation as Innovation Teaching School, we've been able to really expand that. Was that fluke?